Logistics of uh, learning the business of baking and making money are very difficult. You first have to have a clientele and build a clientele. Uh, I personally have done small markets to introduce myself, and I'm still doing markets to introduce myself and getting my name out there. I'm not like just opening up a location and say, hey, I'm Steve, come, come to my location. I, I feel that the best way to go is get to the people first, anyway, before you get a storefront. Because the f you, first thing you gotta get is a name for yourself. And product is very important too. You have to have a lot of product. Limiting yourself to one baked item like cupcakes you're basically sh selling yourself short. You need to expand to different avenues using uh, whatever options you can, like brownies, cupcakes, cookies, uh, cakes, you name it. You know, you need, you need the, a variety of things to make a business happen. And people love variety. They don't want to walk in the store and just get a cupcake. They want to probably get like a, a scone or something. We can do those. We'll do them. But, um, to make money, you first got to get your clientele. Once you get your clientele, then you can start working towards getting your business. Uh, it's not easy to start a business uh, here in Los Angeles where I live. Um, it takes a lot of money. Uh, just just to get a store running, it takes three three hundred probably three to four hundred thousand dollars to get a business operational, if you're lucky. Uh, you have to go through a lot of channels to get a business open. You have the health department. You have the city. Uh, you have to deal with your um, landlord. Um, you have a lot of, lot of places uh, you go into are not ready for a restaurant, but you have to put a re you can put a restaurant in there. It takes a lot of money to get that, uh, that site ready. What you'd love to do is get a, a grandfather location. You know, basically, you take a, a restaurant that's already uh, in business, that's going out of business, and you taking over that location right away, within six months. Then you can start your business pretty much from the get-go, as long as it's ready to go for you know, the type of business you want. Now, there's two options we have here in California. We have, basically, we have the Commercial Kitchen, and we have the Cottage Food Act, uh, which basically is working out of your house. Um, Cost-effective-wise, working out of the house is probably the best way to go. You get licensed through the, through the health department to be able to work out of your house. There's two options. You have plan A and a plan B. Plan A, as long, it depends on what you're doing. Like baking, you can you get on plan A. Basically, you don't get inspected. You maintain. If you uh, get somebody sick, whatever, the health department has the right to come in your home and inspect your house. As long as you keep clean, organized kitchen and everything's good to go, you're good to go. Uh, B is the health department comes in and inspects your house, gives you a letter grade, and you can pretty much do any, any option what you want. You want to work uh, for uh, restaurants and stuff like that, you can, you can get the, uh, the, plan, the plan B. Um, we um, chose to go with the Cottage Food Act uh, for markets because of the fact that uh, our commercial kitchen we work out of cost $25 an hour. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but when you're working in uh, the bakery and a cupcake costs three bucks, 25 bucks, you know, takes away from that. And so we have to uh, make decisions on how uh, we do business. And if we're gonna work a big corporation deal, we're working out of the commercial kitchen. We need the space, we need, we need the uh, ovens, if we're doing just small events, we're working out like a, a market, we're working out of the house. And it makes it a lot easier to get things done. And money-wise, it's, it's, it's almost, almost non-existent on, you know, paying 25 bucks, you're just paying the power bill or, or the gas bill. And I'd rather do that. One avenue you can do is farmer's markets. Farmer's markets are great because you get to be face-to-face -face with the people. Instead of being in the kitchen, you're out in the front, and which I like to be, in, in showcasing your goods.